I have been teaching at Udemy for many years and at start I was full-time Udemy course producer with over 8.5 thousand students, 700 reviews and 4x5 overall rating. I thought I have some valuable insights for people who want to start online course creation to make their course not just good but great. At start I thought it's just about sharing what you know but I experience that there is much more to it as well. So there are four steps we will understand them how to make course great. First of all the basic requirements then problems of a new course creator, the workflows and the opportunities we get by creating courses. In basic requirements we have knowledge requirements and the hardware software requirements. Knowledge requirement is the most important thing to understand when you are teaching. I did not have any background in education so when I started I found out that I know one thing but the students are unable to understand it through the reviews. So making one thing, know how to build it and teaching it these are two different things and you need to explore the difference between these two things. In teaching it you have to give different options, reasons why you are selecting this why it is going to benefit you these are the other options as well this is knowledge but for building most of the time you don't need to understand all the other aspects for basic tasks you go with the development specifically the field that i used to teach robotics and software development i have to teach them the building of the robots the building of the simulation and the best practices in programming it took time to understand the framework in which people will learn the best in delivering the knowledge you need to understand first build the depth inside of you. You learn something, you learn different aspects of it and you keep practicing upon it to build the depth of what you understand. Then you start delivering what you know. So it is a time taking process. You cannot just learn through a video and then create a course upon it. That is going to work for a smaller time but in a longer term it is not going to build your understanding better for delivering. The second category hardware and software you need good light you need background you need audio mic for clear audio because if audio is not clear students cannot hear you properly. Right now I have this key light at me I have this mic for better audio and uh, the camera that I am using is high quality camera. So these are the basic requirements that you can get a lot of YouTube tutorials about how to set up these things. Mediocre teacher tells, good teacher explains, superior teacher demonstrate and the best teacher inspires. With this saying I started to show people the fastest development I can do and what I do at the high level and the low level everything but that resulted in bad experience for the students. They said he's so fast, he's teaching so fast I am unable to get to him. Now this becomes the problem of new course creators. They think that we are teaching the way we develop and that's good. But that's not it. You need to understand the teaching style what students understand. You need to study education and make it easy for the students to replicate. These are the two important things. So for the teaching style with the fast pace, low quality audio and all these bad things I did resulted into very bad reviews. At one course I did not have enabled the mouse cursor and people were confused where the mouse is and where I am clicking and where I am writing the code. So these bad courses produced bad results and that obviously affected my profile but in a positive sense it taught me that students don't like this, don't do it again, don't repeat this, improve it, why they are doing it as student don't even reply to your replies about their bad reviews you have to understand from the very basic message what is the problem. The second problem was solved by giving the code. In my scenario so I was teaching programming and building of the 3D printed robots so I have to provide all of the code. Students have to worry about the programming stuff. They need to understand the structure of how ROS is working, how to build the robot, what is the electronic configurations of your robot. They need to understand this not the whole code thing. So is students use docker use system that are easy to replicate for the students so they understand that we are running the whole software that is built in this whole course at the first lecture so we need to just focus on the structure the problem solving that this instructor is teaching us workflows that i have understood are of two types the project building documentation and the recording workflow in documentation workflow what you do is first build the project and while building the project you document your problems because when the time of recording comes you totally forget the problems and errors that you encounter and how you solve them so you need to record them the errors and the problem solving techniques so you can teach 
those problem techniques to your students in this whole process in my scenario i always have projects that are totally coming from my mind or inspiration from online but no copy pasting cause for only one reason you don't challenge your problem solving if you get code from any outside resource for the recording workflow the process is simple you made the project you improved it now it's time to think about recording so what you do you write down the steps or the lectures in a step-by-step -step manner you're not jumping from learning perspective that's what you need to make sure and what i do i write those lectures onto the notion app then record it step by step and make sure that everything is step by step because in programming no one likes you to write code and they are just watching it you have to build one file then build upon that file throughout the lectures and push it on github so for that you need to plan out how is going to be the basic file how it is going to be added stuff so i can represent the features and related stuff the last part is opportunities as courses are nothing else than content and your expertise showing your portfolio it's like that you show what you know you teach what you know and people get to know that you know this so most of the time i get opportunities i get offers from the companies i get projects for only one reason company had the budget they enrolled their employees into my courses and the employee said ask this guy because he can deliver quickly as we have the requirement of quick delivery so then they contact me and most of the time i reject because of the time i have assigned to other things the reason is you get offers you get opportunities you get to know good people one of my students was 58 years old learning new ROS 2 simulation i was amazed by him so the thing is as you put content and deliver it with story and passion you get opportunities nothing else so this is from my side all of the valuable insights that i wanted to share with you if you have any other suggestion you can tell me i can improve my teaching style as i am opening a new online robotics school and shifting from udemy that i will explain in the next video and i'm also going live on every saturday sunday night i will update about the time that is fixed in the social profiles